So recently, we took a stab at Battlefield 1 with the AMD A10 APUs. So we felt, hey, why not have a little bit more fun with this thing with the recent release of Watch Dogs 2 and how hard it was to run at Ultra on pretty much every setup that we had. I wondered if there was a possible way to get this thing to run on an APU. Yes, Watch Dogs 2 on just the APU. Let's take a quick look at the system that we'll be using. It's the same system from last time where we used a Crossblade Ranger motherboard from ASUS as well as the A10-7890K from AMD and 8GB of DDR3 running at 2400 MHz with the, G the iGPU set to run at 2 gigs. Seem to be a lot of questions about that in the comments on the Battlefield 1 video, but yeah, we do have it set to run at 2 gigabytes. That's kind of it's kind of funny running on just an APU and got that NVIDIA splash screen. I haven't tried this yet, so this video is going to be, I'm going to edit it down, but I'm going to be shooting it live as we run through the different settings. We're going to start at 1080p medium and then work our way down from there. And we're going to see just how big of an impact the temporal filtering option has on this game, which I have a feeling it's really going to help it out and make it, mm, I'm hoping for over 30 FPS at 720p. That's kind of what I'm aiming for, but I'm hoping to be able to keep it at about medium settings. So let's jump in and let's see how that goes. All right, so we got loaded into the game. You can see here we've got the quality at the medium preset as well as the display set to 1080p. And now see, we've got 30 FPS in the menus here. However, if we back out to the game itself, we're looking at about 15 FPS. Somebody's called the cops on me. I accidentally punched a guy a second ago trying to get into the menu system. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is start here. That's, we already see where we're running at 1080 medium. Let's see what happens to dropping it down. We're going to go first with just dropping it down to 720p. And the reason for that is because when you change a lot of the settings in, which you can see here, we're already, we've, we've already maxed out our VRAM usage even at medium preset. But if you change the preset down from medium to, say, low, like we're going to do here in a few minutes, it will actually prompt you to reset. So we're gonna go with the straight drop to 720p and we're gonna see where 1280 by 720 lands us. Now that jumped the menu up to 60, but let's see what it does to the actual game. All right, it took the game up to over 20 FPS. I mean, it, okay, I know what you're thinking. 20 FPS, Keith, ha ha ha. Who wants to game at that? All right, so I'm gonna jump on this motorcycle. This is a game that really, if you can get and I know I'm going to get flack for this, but if you can stay over 30 FPS, it's relatively smooth. Once you hit 45 and up, it becomes really smooth. So we're going to drop this down. We're going to actually go it back up to 1080p on this uh, video. Let's see. Take it back up to 1080p. Now I know that's going to kind of kill it here. Sorry if you hear the controller clicking under the mic. It's pretty close. Um, we're going to go down to temporal filtering. Now, temporal filtering, is, just in a basic form, is like what the PS4 Pro is using to hit 4K. <coughs> it's not really running it at the resolution that you're setting. It's actually running about half resolution and then bumping it up half to a qu quarter to half. I can't remember exactly while I'm doing this. Um, but it's implementing MSAA and then you can adjust the levels of that but we're gonna go ahead and hit that now you see the frame rate just jumped up substantially even though that's all it changed so what it does is it runs checkerboard rendering so it runs it at a lower resolution but upscales it so it's not really 1080p now you see there we went from 14 15 up to 19 18 19 Let's see what happens, and I don't know if you're really going to be able to tell like a visual difference. It's really hard to tell. It's pretty an interesting technology because I actually use it to play this game at 4K high settings with my GTX 1080. Alright, so now we're going to go back in here, video and uh, display. We're going to drop it down to 720p. You know what, honestly, if this gets us over 30 FPS, I'm actually probably going to stop here. And maybe we'll just play around with the other settings see how it turns out. Look at that. We've hit, well, 27, 25, 26. It's still a, a good boost. Um, looks quite grainy, but truth is, we're talking about a game that just came out, and we're still at medium preset. And yeah, it's 720p, but I mean, we're hitting 
this is a game that did not come out on like a PS3 or Xbox 360, and that's kind of what this hardware is equivalent to. So it's pretty interesting to see it running at, well, practically what the current consoles, the Xbox One and the PS4 are running it at, as far as the frame rate goes. Now they're running at a bit higher resolution, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause the video and we're going to change those settings, and we'll be right back. All right, so here we are back at... 1080p and low settings. So you can see we went from 14.15 up to 18.19 here at 1080p, which honestly the game still looks on par or better than a console level, but um, let's see what dropping this down to 720p gets us here real quick. Uh, I definitely still don't consider it playable, but I mean we're still at 1080p on just an APU, so... Let's see, graphics quality low right there, so we're going to drop it, it down to 720p. Hit yeah. Let's see, let's get back in the game. Oh. See, it's still looking at just south of 7 or 30 FPS, which isn't quite, isn't quite there. Again, I know some people are going to be like, oh god, Keith, it's got to be 60 or better. All right, now we got my motorcycle. Let's uh, let's check out that temporal and uh, temporal filtering here. We'll load these menus. Uh, all right, settings. Going back to video. And I know some people out there are like, hey, why are you doing it this way? Why don't you just give us the numbers? Well, quite frankly, the fun of this, and especially with these APUs, in my opinion, is uh, seeing them at work. Like, no, they're not very high-powered chips at all, but. And at this point, they're quite dated, so. But it's still a lot of fun to see this at work. Alright, so we'll make sure I did. Yep, 1080p. Let's see. Now we're over 20. Still. Ugh. Can't do it. There we go. Menu is taking a second to load up. Alright. And we're going to drop it down to 720. This right here is about console level, but we're going just a little bit lower. Yes. All right. Uh, that didn't make a whole lot of difference. Looks like it runs just fine at medium with the temporal filtering going. But. Hey. Right. Now, the open road here, this is actually part of the benchmark course that I used uh, for the article that we had, but we're about to jump off here in just a second at Silicon Valley. I'm going to run it just for a few minutes so you guys can see what it looks like. And, um, I mean, oh, oh, stutter, stutter. I mean, technically, it's, I mean, it's playable. I mean, it runs, it looks like the game, there's the occasional... Uh, hitch, but ooh, 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 texture loading. I'm gonna blame that one on the lack of memory. I've only got eight gigs total, so six is for the system, two for the GPU, for the iGPU, and it's running off of a slower SSD. But you know, what? I'm just just out of curiosity while we're here. I'm gonna. I'm going to jump into 900p as right, right as we exit out of this video. Because I just want to see this. And just in case anybody's wondering. Alright, 1680 by 900. Yeah, that's not quite there. So, uh... To be quite honest, after seeing how hard it was for this game to run at Ultra, I know it's Ultra, but on higher settings with a high-end dedicated GPU, just the fact that it's running at all on this little APU is actually pretty impressive. So, um, you know, if you guys found this interesting, feel free to like and uh, leave a comment if you got a question or anything to add to it. And just so you guys know, I'm going to jump off this bike here, stare at the screen. Uh, this isn't an hey look how awesome this thing is this is just for fun you know I know I've said uh, there's a lot of videos I do where I say that about 500 times but I think a lot of people miss the point is sometimes we just do things to see if we can 
All right, until next time, this has been Keith, and we'll catch you on the next one.